Hey, hello to everyone out there watching today. We are so happy to be here at CMBA's Mortgage Innovators Conference, at least virtually. I'm Marianne Amer, Senior Vice President of Marketing for Loan Logics, and I'm going to be joined today by David Butler, who is our Director of Product Initiatives. To get us started, let me tell you a little bit about Loan Logics. We are a RegTech SaaS provider of document processing, quality control, and acquisition due diligence uh, technology and services. Our latest innovation that David will be demonstrating today is Loan Logic's Idea on Demand. It is a real-time, inline document processing digital assistant. This and all of our other technologies and services really help clients to what we like to say automate first, to improve quality, lower costs, and control risk when manufacturing, buying or selling loan assets. We leverage the latest methodologies in cloud computing and machine learning technology to deliver greater value to our clients. Today, a persistent industry challenge is manual document processing. Well-paid loan officers and processors get backed up managing the whole process and dealing with their pipeline. Delays can even degrade the borrower experience. It can slow down the workflow as the loan moves through underwriting, extend days to close, and maybe even cause lock extensions that uh, impact margins. Finally, manual workflows are error prone, resulting in loan quality issues that may have a downstream impact on decisioning and even loan saleability. So what we like to say, enter Loan Logic's idea on demand. Now, David will be giving a demonstration of the product, but first, a little promotional commercial message. No trouble gonna bring me down, shake me or make me frown. No worry, get the best of me. Just let go, oh, 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 you gotta just let go, oh, 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 you gotta just let go, oh, 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 you gotta just let go, oh, oh. Hello and welcome. My name is David Butler. I am the Director of Product Initiatives here at Loan Logics. And today I'll be showing you our latest and greatest of doc processing technologies, Loan Logics Idea on Demand. So to get started, I will say this is a highly uh, cloud native solution. So everything that you see today is available in the cloud, is where we keep everything highly available, highly scalable, highly secure as well as it enables us to have rapid development cycles. So as we get started here, you're gonna notice this is a pretty slick and new user interface that we've developed here. And it is really taking and allowing for minimal ramp time with our new clients. So I've had some clients as, in as little as 30 minutes up and running on this platform. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, is we're going to upload a document and this particular particular document has a phone estimate a closing disclosure and a note so we'll go ahead and upload that and the first thing you're going to notice is it is loaded into our idea on demand database it is pushed out to all of our machine learning and ai technologies that's doing the indexing and the data extraction behind the scenes but while that loan's processing, let's go ahead and hop into this loan with the exception on the indexing side. So an exception, we associate a confidence threshold to every document that we index as well as every data element that we data extract. So in this case, we do have a diploma that came back. And if I upload it and take a look at this, it's actually coming through. It looks as if this, even though it's blurry and like blacked out, does look like an identification or a driver's license. So what we can do is go ahead and highlight those pages and move that into the appropriate doc type bucket. So in this case, we have an ID. So as I start typing ID, you're going to notice the list filters as I type letters. And it's filtering a list of over 480 individual unique doc types that we currently recognize today. So this is a, an identification or an ID. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. And the first thing it's gonna do is say, hey, you have a diploma bucket on this loan, but there's nothing in it. So we're gonna delete it and we're gonna confirm that that's okay. 
And you'll notice now we have just the ID with no more exceptions. So we can go ahead and submit that loan for data extraction. And if we take a look, here's our loan that we uploaded earlier at the beginning of this process. And you'll notice it has 26 exceptions on it. And you're probably thinking, wow, 26 exceptions, that's a lot. So what we, if you think about the 480 unique documents that we identify, and of those, we extract over 8,000 individual data elements off of those 480 documents. So the loan estimate, the note, and the closing disclosure, we extract over 1,100 data elements. In fact, it's actually 1,145. And when you put that in perspective with 26 exceptions, it's really like a 2% exception rate. And then if I, you notice again, anything with a low confidence threshold over here to the right actually does come back. And, but don't get too discouraged by that because not only could you cut down the number of exceptions from 26, by just simply dialing in the confidence score. Because it's configurable by you, you can actually say, hey, the form number doesn't really affect my ability to deliver the package to my investor or to purchase a loan from a correspondent perspective. I'm gonna go ahead and dial that back and I don't ever want a user to have to clear an exception for the form number on the note. And that's perfectly acceptable. On the other hand, if you look at the loan amount, which is probably the most important piece of data element, on the on this particular document or in the file for that matter is the loan amount right so in this case if you want to say that i want it to be at least 98 percent accurate in order for it to go automatically through but if it's less than that i want eyes on that somebody actually validating that that data is correct and because we're looking for keywords here and not actual co specified coordinates on a document this enables us to be completely flexible. We don't have to retrain all of our documents every year. So for example, if you think about the 1040 tax return, 2017, 2018, 2019, they're all completely different looking fields and fields are all in different places. But because we're looking for keywords and not key predefined coordinates, we're able to still maintain our high level of uh, data extraction because of that. If you'd like a, to try this product, please feel free to swing by the booth at this event and ask more about our try before you buy process. Hello, I'm Colin Graff, Associate Vice President of Marketing at Metasource. We are thrilled to be a part of the CMBA Virtual Innovators Conference, and I have the pleasure of introducing you to Metasource's exciting new offering, Symmetry. Symmetry is an enterprise mortgage origination automation platform. <laughs> yeah, that's a mouthful. And like many in the industry, you have likely launched, are in the middle of implementing, or are at least looking at a sleek, consumer-friendly point-of-sale user interface, whether it's homegrown or off the shelf. But let me guess, you're finding it challenging because it's not as seamless with your LOS as you had hoped. You're failing to create a comprehensive digital experience for borrowers and are struggling to manage incoming data effectively, right? That's where symmetry comes in. Let's take a look. In today's market, lenders are rushing to deliver a comprehensive and engaging digital experience to borrowers as customers demand ease of use and transparency. This leaves many lenders struggling behind the scenes managing incoming data. The fact is that many of the processes sitting behind slick user interfaces are often still quite manual, as there are multiple disparate systems employed for originating a loan. It's an incredibly time-consuming and error-prone exercise, at least it used to be. Introducing Symmetry from Metasource. Symmetry seamlessly connects the platforms you depend on by automating once labor-intensive functions. Here's how it works. Documents are received by the lender. Symmetry classifies each document. Symmetry extracts data from the documents and validates it against the 1003 or using any business rules you define. If Symmetry detects a discrepancy, the document is presented to a knowledge worker for resolution. Once the data is corrected, Symmetry releases the information to the LOS. Meanwhile, during the application process, as milestones are reached, 
Symmetry initiates robotic process automation to perform actions on behalf of the processor during loan setup and processing for the benefit of accelerating underwriting. Tasks such as USPS search, appraisal ordering, MI rate comparison, and even more. The possibilities are endless. Once the data is validated and tasks are complete, Symmetry then routes the loan to the next step without any human intervention, creating a frictionless mortgage process. With Symmetry from Metasource, you can alleviate manual process burdens to increase data accuracy, which impacts speed to close, resulting in greater customer satisfaction. Not to mention, also reducing overall cost per loan. Contact Metasource today to schedule a free loan origination process evaluation and see how much impact Symmetry will have for you. Symmetry is part of an ongoing commitment by Metasource to provide clients with advanced mortgage solutions that eliminate friction, slash costs, and unleash their true potential all at once. We strive to help organizations automate processes so they can focus on what they do best. Symmetry was designed to deliver on four key business outcomes. Number one, increased speed to close, resulting in an enhanced borrower satisfaction. Two, decrease cost to originate. Three, the ability to redeploy valuable full-time employees to more business critical tasks, eliminating the manual on mundane. And finally, four, grow your business and increase volumes without adding staff. Digital transformation in this industry is putting a lot of pressure on the behind the scenes process challenges all of you face. Unless you deliver the technology forward, error-free user experience that today's consumer demands, you risk a dramatic loss of business. Symmetry helps lenders bridge those mortgage POS and LOS platform gaps that keep you from creating a comprehensive digital experience. We'd love to talk to you more about how our digital solutions can help you realize your true business potential and successfully undergo a digital transformation. Visit metasource.com or email marketing at metasource.com to learn more. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today for our tech showcase here at the Mortgage Innovators Conference. My name is Alex Toybert and I'm the Professional Services Manager here at SecureDoc. I've been with the firm since 2013 and I handle all of our client implementation and quality control testing for our user base. We service several industries, but mortgage banking is by far our largest vertical, particularly on the retail side and the pre-origination process and are also really popular with internal lender compliance departments because our application is one of the few that has never been rejected by state examiners for document transfer. Almost all of our client software has been client requested. As a result, our application has become custom developed for mortgage banking's many needs. And in this dynamic and now post-COVID marketplace, our application has been proven to make life easier for you and your colleagues so you can close more business more securely. And with our dedicated support staff, we always make sure to provide quality customer support for you and your clients when you need it. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I'll begin this demo with a use case, and I'll demonstrate how your borrowers can upload files securely using your encrypted email signature link. I'll start off by playing the role of the borrower, and my LO has just sent me a request to upload some files. Here in the email, we can see that the LO directs me right to his click here link at the bottom of his email signature. All I need to do now is click on that encrypted link and I'll be redirected right to the secure upload page. Notice that there was no account login or software download required for the borrower. Super simple and easy to follow. Here at the custom branded security page, which can be white labeled to your liking, all the borrower needs to do is verify that they're human by clicking on the CAPTCHA checkbox. They will then arrive at the secure upload page with a loan officer's name displayed in the header section. First, we can select documents right from our computer 
by clicking the Browse button or by dragging and dropping files right into the Upload field. Then, we can enter our contact information, like our name, email address, and optional reference information before clicking the Send button. Here, at the point of upload, our built-in malware protection scans each of those documents to make sure that no suspicious items are uploaded. This is just one of many ways our application protects the lender from bad actors, and zips up those files into a 256-bit encrypted link, and it gets sent right to the Ello's inbox via custom-branded email notification. Again, all of this happened without the borrower ever having to log into an account or download any software. Super simple, completely COVID approved, and perfect for that busy millennial borrower that wants to get things done fast, or for that non-tech savvy borrower who's easily frustrated with complicated software or annoying usernames and passwords. Now I'm going to be switching roles over to the LO, and I'll show you how we can quickly and easily retrieve our secure file package, or perform other useful tasks within the secure site. Here in the loan officer's inbox, we can see that they've received their secure file upload notification. To download the files, simply need to click on the email. In this case, we can see that this document package was uploaded by the borrower. We can see what files were included, as well as any reference information or instructions. We also have our secure encrypted download button. They simply need to click on the button, and they'll be asked to provide their username and password to verify their identity. Here at the secure download page, we have a couple options for retrieving our files. We can simply download the files right to our device by clicking the download button, or we can store documents in one of our custom named virtual safes here on the secure cloud. And for this example, to show you both the download to the device as well as virtual safe, I'm going to click the option for both. And as you can see, those files have been downloaded right to my local machine where I can view the documents and work with them. To view documents that were stored in a virtual safe environment, we can click here. Here at the virtual safe page, we can see all of our currently active storage safes and documents that have been uploaded to our secure cloud. Here in the left column, we can see our custom named borrower doc safe, and here in the right column, we can see all the documents that were recently uploaded by our borrower. From here, we have the ability to access and organize all of our strategic documents from one secure location, as well as perform a variety of other useful tasks, such as downloading documents right to our device, sending files securely outbound, sharing files with colleagues and outside individuals, or even previewing documents right here from within the application so our documents never have to touch the desktop. Now, moving on, here at the dashboard, we can get a quick overview of our account. Using these interactive task reminders, we can see whether or not any items currently need our attention, such as any inbound or outbound file packages that are currently awaiting download, any pending file requests that are awaiting fulfillment, or how much storage is currently available for our account. Let's go back to our original use case. I'm now going to show you an example of how your LO can send files securely outbound right here from within their SecureDoc account. Here at the Send Documents page, all we need to do is follow the simple instructions to complete our secure file transfer. We'll start by adding our borrower's email address in the provided field. Then, clicking the Browse button to select files from our computer, or pulling documents right from our secure virtual safe storage. Next, we have security information. Since the files that we are sending in this example may contain sensitive or PII information, we want to make sure that we add additional second level authentication to this file package. To do this, we can add an additional access code which the borrower will need to input in order to retrieve their files. To send the access code to our borrower, we can do so verbally or via our new SMS text code delivery feature, which automatically sends the access code directly to the borrower's mobile device. Once the borrower receives the email and text notification, all they need to do is click the download button and enter their email address and access code sent to their mobile device to download their document securely. Again, it's so important to remember that the borrower never had to create a profile or remember a password to securely receive documents sent from their LO. And finally, with our real-time compliance reporting and tracking features, your LOs will have full visibility of all of their sent and received items and can see the exact status and detail of past document transmissions down to the exact time of delivery and download.
This makes SecureDoc a wonderful tool for keeping our loan officers within industry compliance and making sure important records are always available when needed most. So, what did we just see here today? We saw that the borrower was able to quickly and easily upload their files right from the secure link in the LO's email signature without having to log in or create an account. Super simple, no confusion, just click, upload, and send. The documents were then scanned for malware and delivered to the LO's inbox through an encrypted download link. The LO was then able to retrieve their documents by securely downloading them right to their device or right from their secure virtual safe without them ever touching the desktop. The LO was then able to send a secure file package outbound right back to the borrower while also utilizing some additional security features like our SMS text message delivery. Again, no profile setup or login required for the borrower during this process. And lastly, everything we did here today was recorded in detail in our automated compliance reports, ensuring that we have important records and history on hand when we need them. Everything that we've shown you here today has been because of two things our depth of a relationship with our clients in the mortgage banking industry, and our commitment to user-friendly, secure software. Our application will make a tangible difference with the life of your LO, and with our exceptionally high adoption rates and user-friendly design, it will make a significant difference for the life of the IT administrator as well. Our application is $15 per user per month, with a minimum of 20 users. If you sign up for a month-to-month -month contract with us here at the Mortgage Innovators Virtual Conference, we are offering a limited one-time price of $12 per user per month. We encourage you to take advantage of this offer and please feel free to send us a message or schedule some time with us to learn more about our products and services. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Abhinav Vastana and I'm the head of products at Tavant. Today we are going to talk about uh, a different kind of experience. Uh, over the last couple of uh, months and, and maybe even uh, the last couple of years, the entire focus of the lending business has been towards uh, ac acquiring new customers, uh, origination experience, the entire focus around providing an intuitive and engaging experience through the application process. What we will look at today is once you originate the loan, how is the experience for the customer when you when they are a customer of yours? So from a borrower's perspective, once they get a loan done with you as a lender, as a bank, the expectations are that they should be able to manage their account more effectively. Some of, the, some of the research that we have done here at Tavant uh, tell us that a digitally engaged customer has six times the higher retention that you would have from a customer who's not digitally engaged with you. So what you're looking on the screen right now is a snapshot of how we look at the customer journey and the experience in the servicing space. You look at what all activities do borrowers come and perform uh, once they are a customer, once they once they have a loan with you. Uh, it starts with loan summaries, goes into payments, there's documents, there is financial offers, you're talking about uh, escrows, you're talking about payoff quotes and so on. And then there is the entire interaction with uh, people who provide support, whether it's your banker, whether it's your uh, uh, information technology support staff, whether it's your customer support representative. All of these people using technology are enabling that experience for the borrower. Not spending too much time on the slide, I'm going to switch to what Tavant's experience looks like when it comes to servicing uh, borrowers. Here is an example of Tavant's uh, servicing experience. As a borrower, when I come on, this would be a, a landing page of a servicer or, or, a, or a bank or, or a lender where the borrowers come in to log on and, and view all the details about their loan accounts and the mortgage accounts that they own with that particular financial institution. As they click on login, there are some quick links that we've provided in the experience. I may be here only to set up my auto pay. I may be here only to look at my online billing information. And then when I talk about online billing, this is your monthly payments. Uh, I may be only here to set my alerts and notification. 
I can go any of these route or I could just go straight to summary. So what you're looking here is the summary view. What does the summary view tell you? It tells the borrower what their monthly payments are, the, uh, the loan snapshot. We've also brought in additional information that provide value to the customer or the borrower in this case. It tells them about their equity in their homes. It tells them about the current value of their homes. It gives them a sense of uh, how their investment into their own homes is improving over time. These are all widgets. So as a bank or a financial institution, you can decide what information you want to present to your borrowers when they come onto the summary screen. At Tavan, we also believe in hyper-personalization. So as, as borrowers come and use this uh, servicing experience more and more, we track behavioral uh, use data and then realign the summary experience to what that particular persona uh, basically expects from this website. You see there are calculators, there are snapshot date and details around maturity date, any accounts and money in suspense, any monies in the escrow balance, and so on. But as you go from there, they have at their disposal quick clicks on the left-hand navigation menu on where they can go from here. They can go from here into payments. So, uh, you know, do you want to manage your auto pay? Now, one thing that we've done at Tavan is we've actually provided the ability for you as a bank and financial institution to offer your borrowers with the ability to set up multiple banking institutions as their uh, source of payment. So you can split your payments, you can add multiple accounts in the equation, you can change your free, uh, frequency and how, how frequent you want to pay. There's the, uh, the, the other part that you can do uh, go into is you can actually go in and uh, in, on the payment side, when you say make payment, you can make additional payments. So you, you can make additional payments towards uh, uh, additional escrows. You can make payments towards uh, additional principal. And then uh, these uh, uh, screens are actually linked in a manner that you could actually, you could come here from your escrow screen. So if you're on escrow and uh, you realize that you have to pay an escrow shortage, I can just click on that and it brings me straight back to uh, paying an additional escrow uh, amount as an escrow shortage. There are other activities here. You can, you can look at all your payment activities. You can look at payment information, all the payments that you've made, dates and amount. You can look at all the bank accounts you have configured here. You can also look at your amortization schedule to see where you stand today as a part of your mortgage transaction. You can from here go to document center where you can look at all the documents that have been made available to you uh, as part of uh, the transaction, especially the fact that most people come here for end of year tax statements, they, be, they come here uh, for monthly statements, uh, uh, and you know, they, they, they come here for any kind of payoff requests that they have generated and so on. So the one other key area in today's world is to provide the right kind of homeowners and assistance. With the market the way it is, and the amount of people uh, facing uh, unemployment, there is a spike in forbearance right now, and God forbid, if a uh, situation does not improve, there will be a lot many more borrowers who will need your assistance. We have built in capabilities to look after your borrowers and provide them the kind of assistance you, want, uh, you expect to provide to them. From there, you know, you can also go into all your account preferences so you can decide what you, these are the uh, shortcuts that we saw on the, on the login screen. So you can decide, uh, do you want to unenroll in online billing, uh, subscribe to al alerts and notifications, change your, uh, uh, cell phone numbers, update your email address, uh, change your auto pay settings, and so on. With that, I'm going to transition back to my slides and, and quickly take you through some of the uh, results that we've uh, witnessed over the last couple of years. One of the key things that we've seen is that uh, with a digitally engaged customer, your support call volume drops by over uh, 70%. We've also seen that uh, a lot of our uh, uh, clients witnessed, or a lot of our uh, banking clients and, and servicing clients witnessed a drop in their average handling time because they were more the, the questions that they received were more pointed. They were questions that had a direct response, and so it was easier for them to manage customer expectation. We've also seen the fact that uh, there is, uh, uh, you know, there are more people who do payments online. There, there are more people who manage things through mobile devices. And that has resulted in a steep decline in running costs for uh, lenders and servicers and banks. With that, 
I'm going to open this up for questions, uh, and I can already see a few questions come in on the fireside chat. I will be more than happy to answer those questions. And if you have any further things that you want to learn from me, from us, you can always reach me at Tavant. Thank you.